Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create table for each sheet in Excel file or files and load data to it dynamically in SSIS package. With the built-in Excel source, that's really almost impossible to do that. And uh, we are going to use a script task in SSIS to handle this uh, situation. So think about a scenario where you have tons of files sitting in a folder. And uh, let me open this file. And it has uh, two sheets, so sheet one, that has ID, name, and date of birth. The second sheet has ID, name, date of birth, and address. The other files can have multiple sheets. They can have single sheet. They can have different columns. So what we would like to do, we would like to create a staging area where we are going to load this information. And what we will do, we will use this Tech Brothers IT. This this is the file name part. So we will use this and then put underscore uh as a sheet uh, whatever the sheet we are loading so let's say for if we are loading a sheet one we'll create that table with file name underscore sheet name and then load the data to it for the next sheet we'll use the same file name and then use the this file name underscore second sheet name and create that table and load the data so the naming convention is file name and underscore sheet name that's how our naming convention in this case you see here there are three files and uh, there are uh, this one has two sheets this one has two sheets one this one has the uh, one sheet so there there should be five tables created and uh, this is this should be the f uh, first part of that table name and the rest of that sheet name will be in, uh, included to the name of that uh, table so let's go ahead and uh, write our script and uh, do it first of all you will be going to the techbrothersit.com that's where i have posted the scripts already and once you are there, you will be opening SSIS video tutorial. This has a lot of video tutorials. You will be going to the uh, script task and under the script task, you will find this uh, how to create a table for each sheet in Excel and load data to it dynamically. So you click here and then here I have showed you how different example. If you are in office, you can watch the videos. You can always read the blog and uh, let's go ahead and this is the script we need to copy now we are going to go ahead and create our ssis package open ssdt sql server data tools right click on ssis packages tab new ssis package and uh, you can uh, rename create table for each sheet sorry that's it the only one variable we need because we are reading the data uh, from Excel files and the Excel files are sitting in a folder so we have to create one variable and we will save the folder path in that variable you right click here in the control flow pan and come to the variables once you are there you will uh, click there and uh, it will open uh, variables uh, pan come here add variable and provide the name so we are going to call this one folder path string type uh, get the folder path from here and then paste it there this variable you will be using in configuration so on a different environments such as QA UAT and production you will be changing the value of this folder path variable by using the configuration so you don't have to open the package and change it next you will be going to the toolbox and bring in the script as you can drag it right here open it now I'm using C sharp if you are uh, uh, really good in visual, visual basic you can use it but the script I'm providing it they are written in C sharp and here in the read only variable come here and uh, select uh, the folder path variable so we can use uh, in the script uh, task click on edit uh, script come back to Tech Brothers IT and here are some namespaces we need to add uh, under the namespaces uh, tab so I just copy those parts uh, and we are going to paste in here so you see here namespaces click on positive sign or plus sign go to the end and then hit enter and paste it so we added a system.io so we can read the file information we use a data.oladb so we can read the excel we use a data.sql so we can uh, use this name class and their instances uh, uh, to read uh, you know, or write data to the SQL. So we will use different functions and uh, uh, instances of these uh, namespaces uh, in our script. Next part, you will be going to the public void main, and that's where you are going to add your code here. So click and pay, then hit enter, 
go back to the tech brothers and uh, you will be copying the data from here as you see right here i told like go to the public void main and then just copy this whole thing and paste it there if you don't feel comfortable there is see this uh, transaction is even this should be on one line but as uh, there was not enough space here so it broke into two lines uh, if you don't feel comfortable with the this code you can always go here and say script to download and once you click there I have already uploaded uh, the script to the Google Drive and uh, there, that's a more cleaner way you can click here and then go to the main uh, right here public word main and copy from there so that's uh, uh, in one line you can see that it's, it's much more cleaner way but that the first part will work as well if we copy and paste it, it's gonna work just fine if there would be some small uh, errors I, I can fix it right now now just close this one and let's walk through this uh, uh, script uh, or code so we are declaring a variable called folder path and this is equal to the our variable value uh, I could have used uh, the same thing uh, I don't need this variable but uh, every time I have to use this value, I have to use uh, DTS dot variables and user folder path and all that. That's a kind of long way to go. Second, uh, we are reading through the directory and uh, this folder path, that's our directory. And we will read all the file names and save into the files array. Now, here, uh, one more thing I would like to do. Let's close this one and come back. One uh, thing is missing in our package. We missed that part because we need to load uh, the information into the SQL server table so here uh, it is shown as uh, binary code some errors are there we will fix that uh, we need to create a connection to the database that we can use in a script task uh, so our files will be loaded to that database here go to the adio.net connection delete it create a new one and uh, provide the name of the server if you click on drop down it takes some seconds to bring that uh, server information we are using sql server 2016 uh, use the tech brothers it database test it looks good and uh, hit ok go right click rename this name is not that great so we want to rename we want to call this one db underscore connection and the tech brothers once uh, you rename this one and use in configuration you can also change the value on each of the environment by using the configuration for this uh, connection manager okay uh, open the script as let's take a look what happened we are going to fix those errors that might be just uh, as there was a split uh, code in two lines that could be the reason and now uh, we were here I was explaining you get all those file names and then you're gonna loop through those file names and here we are declaring a variable say file name just blank then say file full path that's folder path plus file name uh, once we have that we can use and read the data from those excel sheets so we say in file name file dot name replace dot xls because so remember I need to use the file name as a part of a table uh, uh name as well so i don't need that xls uh, x l s x so i can just replace that and then i will just uh, see the file name uh the full path if i just want to show um, i can use message box i can uh, um, comment out if i like but let, let's leave this one for now we will, uh, as we are running we will see in the debugging like which file it is loading or which sheet it is loading then uh, we are building a, a connection for excel so we are saying string uh, con string that's a, a variable then we can create another variable header and then set the value for that variable yes because we we should get the header in these files always next uh, we are saying connection spring provider so that's a driver microsoft uh, dot ac only db 12.0 and we have to say file full path so we will be providing the full path of that file we are uh, reading here uh, yes header is equal to yes as we already have provided the value i max is equal to one so as as i was talking uh, in uh, in start of the video we are loading this data to the staging area and uh, we felt that uh, uh, we should be loading this data as an NVAR car uh, to the staging area and from there we want to do the conversion. Uh, that's why I said IMAX is equal to zero. Read every column in Excel as a string. 
So that's otherwise, uh, if you want to read as uh, uh, let the Excel driver decide about the data type, then you will be putting it zero. But uh, then you have to handle or create those columns accordingly. But in my case, I'm I, I'm okay to read them as a, uh, n worker uh, as a string and just insert into the n worker, and then I will uh, decide uh, uh, in this SQL and uh, make verifications before I load to a final table. Now. Here I'm opening a connection, reading uh, all sheets. Uh, so I said D, DT sheets. Uh, so reading all sheets from that Excel file, and then uh, I declare a variable called sheet name here. Uh, then I'm looping through those uh, sheets, uh, and here I'm checking if uh, this uh, sheet name contains dollar sign. It means it's a valid sheet name, and uh, that's where I'm saying okay, set the value of a variable to the sheet name. Next uh, here, I'm just presenting or showing you the sheet name. Uh, this uh, query uh, load the data uh, table with the sheet data. So we are uh, here we say an OLEDB Oak um, connection, new OLEDB. So we are creating a new instance uh, of OLEDB command. And uh, what happened? We are using select asterisk from sheet name. So we are reading everything from that uh, sheet uh, and then. Uh, we are filling the data table. So we are filling a data table is the table in the memory. We we'll fill that with the Excel records. Why we are doing it? So we can write back to the table in a SQL server. And here we say sheet name, sheet name replace dollar sign because we don't want the dollar sign in the table name. Uh, we just want the sheet name. So I have sheet name is equal to sheet name dot replace if the replace the dollar sign with the blank. Now. This part uh, we are creating our DDL definition. So that's uh, create table if exist and then uh, if it does exist, we send if exists select asterisk from uh, this uh, uh, objects dot uh, um, sys dot objects where object ID is equal to table name and all that. And uh, if it, is, it does exist, drop the table and recreate the table. And then uh, use these uh, all the columns from DT dot columns. So that's the data. Uh, table we have filled so we have filled the, the data in the memory and we call it the DT and then it has columns So we loop through those columns and generate uh, this, uh, the the uh, The create table definition, but each column will be an and uh, and watcher max you can and set and watch at 4000 uh, in my case I'm okay with the and watcher max and uh, here if we would like to uh, display this uh, um let me see i'm gonna go ahead and show you actually on each of the execution like okay this is the clear definition uh, message as show and here we will say table ddl so we will print that just to show you now our table will be created we will get this uh, uh this uh, this uh, query is ready now we have to open a connection uh, with the SQL server and uh, we have already connection there. So we just use that connection uh, manager. So we are saying SQL connection, we are adding um, or sorry, creating a new instance of a SQL connection. Now, once we do that, um, here we say DTS dot connections. So we need to use that uh, connection manager. And remember the name is DB connection underscore tech brothers IT. We use that one. Okay, next we show this uh, DDL table. It's, uh, it was actually already here, so I don't need this one. Um, now we have a SQL command, and remember, we have already created a SQL command called table DDL. That's what we are going to use. And we say command dot execute uh, uh, non query. So it is going to execute, it's not going to return us anything really because we are just creating a table. And we say message, show, show message, say a table is created. The last part is uh, we need to. Uh, paste uh, the data from the data table to the SQL server table. So we use bulk copy and say, okay, bulk copy uh, new instance. And once we have that one, and then we say destination table, that's our file name underscore sheet name. That's uh, the table name we are going to have. And then say write uh, to server, and uh, this is the data we need to write. Uh, and that's it. So now we have uh, probably missing. Uh, um, parenthesis here so I have included that part here and that's taken care so this parenthesis was missing uh, we can save it build it 
it's a good idea to save and build so you see if there is any error or anything you can correct right here close it hit ok now let's go ahead and take a look on the tech brothers tables It is expanding. Uh, I have no idea why it takes so much time to expand. Well, we have uh, three tables, and uh, th th this doesn't really uh, have any information. Like, okay, these are created from these uh, Excel sheets. So once we uh, load the data, uh, run the package, it will create a totally new table with these names and sheet names. So go ahead and do it. Run it. And uh, you you can see that. Uh, it is a read in the first file and the uh, next uh, sheet one that's what it is reading this is where it is preparing uh, our uh, uh, drop table and if it exists and then uh, recreating a table so you can see that uh, it is using a uh, id uh, name uh, date of birth and all that and now okay table is created if we go back to the table tables here this table is created so this is uh, our excel file name and then we have a sheet name added to it the table is created if we will do the select query as of now and uh, there, there shouldn't be any data because in the next part of our query script is loading the data so we haven't click uh, on ok once we click ok it is going to go to the next part so let's click ok now remember uh, the data is loaded now it is looking for the sheet 2 and uh, you can see that we have id name and date of birth and the table is created now this is loading sheet 2 so it is going to create a new table uh, and as you can see that the definition is right here hit ok table and reading second file creating tables okay <laughs> that's a lot of clicks um, but we are done all of them close the or just uh, stop your package come back and uh, now refresh the tables uh, and you will see five tables here so you see th there are two uh, tables created from uh, file one there are two tables created from uh, file two and one table created from uh, th th uh, file uh, third file so you can go ahead and take a look if you want to select some data see here this one has a, a lot of records so let's uh, see how many records it has uh, it has more than thousand records so we can uh, take a look on that part it is 1917 uh, records so you can see that uh, that's loaded so this is how you will be creating a new table for each of the sheet and loading the data rate if you will do the uh, if you run this package again it is going to drop these tables and uh, reload the excel recreate the table load the data rate so uh, once you are done with loading uh, the next task should be here say archive that file move that file or files to the uh, other folder or you can use a script task and move those files because you don't want to let those files sit there and uh, next time when your package run you will um, drop the tables and uh, reload it there is no point it will be wastage of time so uh, i hope you learned something out of it and uh, i apologize for taking a whole lot of time but uh, these are small small things are really important uh, to explain and uh, I will see you guys in the next video